So Isaiah Thomas is signing with the Charlotte Hornies after dropping 42 points a game with the G League. And this is a man that has gotten opportunity after opportunity after his MVP season. And not once has he performed at an NBA average low. And that was my overall response to the last time he got picked up by a team. Or maybe it was the first time he got picked up by a team this season. Because I was seeing everybody on social media talking about, Oh, finally he's given a chance. Why has the league given up on him? They haven't. He just hasn't performed. Now that being said, I'm still holding out hope that this man can perform. And I do think this is a perfect situation for him. With the Charlotte Hornets, who... I was talking about this yesterday with guys like Kelly Oubre. They've picked up a bunch of guys that it's a great fit for the players. It's a great situation for the players to go off or a guy like a Kelly Oubre to be in a system where it's free-flowing. You don't have to make a lot of tough reads. Just run the floor, shoot threes, run to the rim, throw it down. We're not asking you to play great defense. Perfect for a guy like Montrezl Harrell. Perfect for a guy like Kelly Oubre. And perfect for a guy like Isaiah Thomas. Floor spacing. Fast pace. They're not going to get too mad at you if you take some bad shots. They put some bads up. They shoot it quick. They play quick. Isaiah Thomas with a spaced out floor can just spot up, shoot those threes, can shoot some step backs, get into his bag how he wants to, get some space to ISO guys, get five uses, you know, little scoop shots around guys. He might be able to hoop with the Hornets. So for Isaiah Thomas, I'm happy to see him get signed with, signed with the Hornets rather than a team that plays slow plays, methodical, where he has star players ahead of him, where he might have to take a second seat. Yes, he has LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, but it's not a situation, and Miles Bridges, but it's not a situation where it's like, you know, feed them the ball. It's just fast-paced move, who take whatever shot you get when you watch the Hornets. So for Isaiah Thomas, I have high hopes that he can hoop with the Hornets and maybe get his confidence back at the NBA level and maybe make a run back in the league. Because if you're scoring 42 points a game in the G League, there is definitely a situation where you could, I think, and we've been an NBA, NBA MVP, there's a situation where you still could be a productive NBA player. The problem is with Isaiah Thomas, if it's not a great fit and he's not scoring great offensively, not, it's not a super efficient offensively, it's just not worth it because he's so short that his defense, even if he tries his absolute hardest, it's just always going to be a liability. So he, it's not even good enough for him to be good offensively. He has to be great. And the sad thing is, since his MVP season, he hasn't even been good. So I love this for Isaiah Thomas, and I have high hopes for him. For the Hornets, on the other hand, it, I just I don't agree or like their strategy as a whole. I'm not even going at this side in particular so much. But it just goes to like a larger thing with what the Hornets are doing. And it just seems like we're going all in on no defense at all offense. Which, I, you know, I guess would be fine if the defense wasn't just as atrocious as it is. Watching that Bucks game yesterday, Bucks got whatever they want. They, they were playing with them. It looked like they were playing some G-leaguers or it was a scrimmage or something. Like the Hornets just were leaving Bobby Portis wide open in the corner, leaving... Chris Middleton wide open. Possessions where they got like a wide open three for Bobby Portis. Kick it out. Open three for Middleton. Miss again. Giannis just puts it back in. Like they were able to try whatever the heck they wanted. This Hornets defense is just terrible. And they're just adding on more and more players that fit their system offensively. But are just atrocious defensively. Whether it's Isaiah Thomas picking up Montrez Harrell. I think that uh, Isaiah Thomas... I think that their defense has gotten so bad to where I don't think they need to continue to bring in guys that fit their offense. I think they need the guys to bring in guys that will shore up their weaknesses and like at least bring that intensity defensively. I don't know how many even guys I could see on their roster that are good defenders. Maybe P.J. Washington. Martin plays pretty hard. I guess Mason Plumlee, but he shoots 36% from the free throw line. So I think they need to bring a defender like a Marcus Smart type. I mean, it's not easy to bring him in, but... I, if I were them, I'd be looking for somebody in the G League that has clamps defensively like the Warriors were able to get Gary Payton. I'd be thinking about bringing up Kai Jones. I think he could help you. I think he's you know fits what they do offensively in terms of running towards the rim. And I think being a rookie with that type of athleticism, I think he would help them defensively. So I think they need to, maybe with this, I think they need to go get somebody that will help them out defensively. Because if they don't, I don't think they're going to end up making the playoffs and it might be time to move on from that coach. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe, please. Yes, sir.